We're going to cover a few things in this episode. We're going to cover the Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua promo video that's just been put out. We're going to cover the likelihood that uh, Ngannou will go back to PFL and fight in MMA. And we're going to cover uh, the boxing world and is it dead? It, is it or are we back on track? Right. So this video, it's been put out last night. Um, it was the, it, it's like an arcade style promo video and it's an absolute fucking banger, boys. I shit you not. This is leagues ahead of anything that you, the UFC are putting out. And this ties into Will Ngannou fighting in MMA ever again. Uh, after this, and now the, the boxing world are treating Ngannou. Probably not. Probably not. But we'll cover that in a bit. We'll cover that in a bit. So first of all, it's like an arcade style um, scenario that they're starting with. Uh, knockout, chaos, press start. So we'll, we'll we'll play the first few bits and then we'll see it. We'll, we'll come in and do some dissection of it, okay? Francis. Yes. Hope you're enjoying New York, my friend. Well, listen, I've got good news for you. The fight's on. It's a done deal. We got AJ. Like straight away, the how the camera pans down, like the the cinematic, it's like a cinematic style video. Straight away, um, they they got Ngannou looking at like an absolute fucking badass. He reminds me a bit like a African African Bane, like he's looking like African Bane. I love the sound effects that they're putting on the voice, the chopper, the sound effects. Uh, it's a busy New York City. It's setting the scenario. Many time anywhere. Oh, it's getting hot now. Joshua bumps into Hingarni. Fucking hell. Like, didn't expect that one coming so soon. Or did we? Francis. Francis. I love the fact that they, they get straight into it. They bump into each other. They eye each other up. The, the, the crowd are fucking chanting. They, they... Straight away, they get into it. There's no messing about even the old woman screaming. I love it straight away. They've shifted into the, the Street Fighter animation mode. And yeah, it, 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 I'm liking this, boys. It's absolutely... The, the, the transition into the Street Fighter... It, like I say, the UFC are not putting anything out close to this promotional material. Straight away, what they've done well is they've um, they've, they've focused it around Ngannou. They've given uh, Ngannou the upper edge straight away. It's centered around him. Anthony Joshua is the the sort of the the bad guy. Uh, so we've got the protagonist as Ngarnu. The villain is fucking uh, Anthony Joshua. I mean, everything so far, like the sets, the cinematicness of it, the, the the production value of this promo, they put a lot into it and you can see it's paying off. It's going to pay off. It's going to be fucking viral by the end of this week. Um, and they put it out with plenty of time. Uh, the, with the, the fight isn't until March 8th, so we've got um, over two, just under just under two weeks, 10 days, something like that. So they've given it plenty of time to circulate. They've dropped it the... The, the week before fight week, I think that's a good move. They, they really fought this out. They really fought, they put a lot into the, promoting this. And like I said before, this plays dividends in keeping Ngannou in the boxing world because it was one thing he was very critical of the UFC. It was all about the how he wasn't getting promoted. Not just the money. It wasn't just the money. It was how he wasn't getting promoted. He felt like a disrespect coming from the UFC that they didn't put any effort into promoting him. So... Showing Ngannou this kind of love will go a long way in keeping him in the boxing world. Man, 
I mean, what I love about the videos, the crossovers, the transitions from arcade, like Street Fighter to like real life and the sets. It's absolutely amazing the, the transitions and the crossovers between the two. You know, Granny does them both. Yeah, so they, they're really setting the scene. They're really building up the, the hype of the fight. And they're really doing a good job of the promo so far. Game over. Fantastic, fantastic video. I applaud these guys so much. Uh, the effort that they put into this, the production value, the editing style, everything about it is amazing. They've got cars, they've got fucking fighting, they've got sound effects, explosions, they've got grannies attacking people, grannies shouting in the crowd. If this doesn't gear you up for a fight, I don't know what will. This is by far one of my favorite promotional materials of all time. And this ties into Ngannou. Will Ngannou ever go back to the PFL? And I don't think he will. I think PFL is his plan B. Just in case it goes wrong in the boxing world, it gives him that backup. It gives him that security. But if he does well against AJ or even beats AJ, there's no chance that he's going back to MMA. Absolutely no chance. He'll want to continue the money, um, the, getting the, this kind of promotional material, You know, the attention that he's always wanted, the respect that he's always wanted. It plays right into Ngannou and who Ngannou wants to be and what he wants to represent. So I can't see him ever going back to MMA if he, he does well in this fight or even beats AJ. If he beats AJ, MMA, out the question, won't happen. Like, he's got nothing to prove in MMA at this point. Like, why does he need to go back to MMA when he's been in the best organization in MMA and won the title? He's not going really care that much about becoming a champion in PFL or Bellator. So that will tie in with um, what Ngannou wants to do in the future and build upon is the boxing world and become a boxing champion. And if he does well against AJ and beats AJ, he will want to continue that reign in the boxing world and focus on his boxing. Because he, he surprised a lot of people in the Fury fight and some people even gave Ngannou the nod against Fury. But he's got to do it again and he's got to prove himself in the boxing world, show that discipline, show that boxing skill that he showed in the Fury fight. And he could end up beating Joshua, especially with Joshua's chin. We know it can be uh, a bit dodgy. We know it can be tested. So we're, Ngannou is the guy to do that. We're, it's going down on March 8th. So not even long now until we know the future of Ngannou. I, I can assure you, not long after that, we'll know where Ngannou stands, whether he's, he, he will be ranked quite highly if he beats Joshua. So he'll be looking for a title fight. So he's, even though the PFL has said Ngannou fighting at the end of this year, if he beats Anthony Joshua, I, I shit you not, he will not be fighting in the PFL at the end of this year. He's going to be looking to progress on his boxing career and book in a, probably a title fight next. So that that will be the next move for Ngannou, I imagine, or top another co top contender. Um, so another thing that we haven't discussed. Is boxing dead? Well, everyone everyone says boxing's dead, but boxing will never be dead. It, there's so many people that MMA is not for, and no matter how much you try to sell it to them, boxing will always be the number one for a lot of people in their eyes. The transition will, it will even things out, but boxing will never go, especially when they're promoting fights quite like this. Like If they, if they promote fights like this, we're back on top in the boxing world and the boxing world will continue to push on. There's so much more money in boxing and so much more potential for fighters and boxers to make bigger money than being in a promotion like the UFC where there's restraints around um, how you advertise and get sponsorships. It's more like working for a company, whereas um, boxing still has that independent side where you can make a lot more money. So that being said, my theory is that if Ngannou beats Joshua, he's staying in the boxing world. He'll never fight in MMA again 
unless he, he ends up losing and not being in contention for a title. And is Boxing Dead? No. Not, not when they're putting out bangers like this. I think we've got a long way to go before um, the boxing world dies off. And I don't think it'll die off. I think they'll dip and then they'll come back and they'll dip and come back. The boxing world has too many international, worldwide fans to ever die off. And when they promote boxing right and they do it right, it is one of the best sports in the fucking world that everyone wants to watch and wants to see. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Here's to the fighters, the fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears on the fame. And here's to as in key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show.